welcome to vedavartha so today we will discuss about one new topic that is rack previously we discuss about ai how we evolve from ai to machine learning machine learning to deep learning now deep learning is divided into two parts that is descriptive ai and generative ai but there are some limitations of generative ai also for example you are asking something to chat gpt but sometimes what chat gpt replies i don't have access to real time data sorry for the inconvenience at that time chat gpt or large language models fails but why they fails they fails because the cut off time on the data which they trained and the question you asked is after that cut off time for example that model is trained till 22 august and you are asking the data of 24th august that is for today that is a real time data so model will say i don't have access to the real time data so at that time you can take help of rag so here is the example the first one is the traditional and second one is the using rag so you will ask the genai model or chat gpt or llm model that what are the top it bugs that have filed this week you are you are just asking the simple question to a chat gpt model what it will say i am sorry i don't have real time access because chat gpt is trained before the cut off date of this week last two week before three week before four week before so chat gpt does not have the real time data what if the same question you asked to rack means llm integrated with rack now you ask the same question what are the top it bugs that have filed this week then the integration of rack and llm replies like top bug this week includes critical server vulnerability email synchronization issue and software update error so how rack integrated with the llm models we will discuss now how rack comes into picture so llm models having wide range of topic but they are limited to a public data suppose we are building an application that having private data or data introduced after model cut off date at that time we need to add that information or augment that information to it, to the model because the cut off date of the model is before the question you asked so at that time rack comes into picture that is retrieval augmented generation retrieve the data augmented means add the data and then generate the data with the llm models so llm models not only get the prompt you are asking it will get the augmented data or the ddl command the query from the database of the rack now here is the simple example you ask the question it will go to rag rag will retrieve the data augment the data then your prompt will go with the tdl query of the rag and then llm model responds to the user how it will works for example let's take a simple example you will ask the llm model what ports are needed for connectivity between bluetooth xp classification and bluetooth xp connector but if you ask it directly to llm so llm unable to reply or chat gpt unable to reply but what if we are having rack so what will rack do you can see that vector store net app documentation user manual so what rack will do rack will go to for example we want sony sony uh, we want model of sony's headphone to connect so it will go to sony's website it will search for wh c250 model specification so there will be one pdf it will take that pdf convert that text to numericals chunk in that data stores in their vector database then send it to llm for example it will store it in your database then send to llm so llm now having data to how to connect to a bluetooth xp to bluetooth xp connector previously it unable to access that so rag having functionality to convert the semi structured data or unstructured data to its vectorized database then send output to the llm previously that pdf llm or chat gpt unable to convert it directly but rag can do rag having its tools with them so the response is port 443 needs to be configured to ensure connectivity between blue xp connector and blue xp classification so what answer previously llm model large language model or chat gpt unable to give but now with the help of rag they can answer the question so how rag is working we will go deep inside the architecture first one and the second one first part is documentation retrieval and ingestion we can see with the full form of rag retrieval 
augment generation means it will drive the data augment means add the data and then generate the data so there are some pdf it will pre-process the document then document will be embedded to a model rag model it will be an any model for example we we'll take ann artificial neural network that will document it embedded to a vector db so there is a vector db what vector db will do vector db will take that text data chunk instant data convert them to a numerical one that is in zero one form now you are in the second part you can see you are the user you ask something to a chatbot that is chat gpt now that chat gpt go to embedded model that embedded data embedded model will check that data into the database to the rag database for example you are we have taken one example previously we want the data of sony's wsc250 model so it will check whether in database any information is present or not if any information is present so it will send the llm model that prompt what user is asking as well as that query for example select star from the model where model name is wcs250 so llm can provide the proper output to the user not only the simple one that this is the generic information it can now tell the complete information with 100 percent accuracy so this is how rag works basically there are two dots that rag connects with llm what are they one is indexing for example if data came it first load the data then split into several files then embedded the data embedded means converting them into vectorized form then store the data and the second one is retrieval and generation first it will retrieve the data from its database that is vectorized database then generate the data and send llm the prompt as well as the query from the database fetching the dml query from the database this we already discussed the injection of data retrieval search processing raw text and tokenize tokenize means just converting into form of zero or one in tokens at last where we are using rag in content creation because it can handle unstructured data also audio video second information retrieval for example new information comes came to website they have they have purchased an, they have purchased a new car or they have launched a new car bmw x9 series so we can fetch it directly from the website that pdf their specification and the last one is chatbot so chatbot will able to uh, chatbot we can take example of our chat gpt so chatbot will able to give the answer with 100% accuracy previously chatbots are saying we don't have access to the real time data we are unable to answer we are not sure of, about this so chatbot will now able to provide 100% output so thank you for joining i hope you understand this session if any issue let me know we will make one more video and go deep dive into this thank you